The Oberheim DMX was a programmable drum machine first released in 1980. At that time, it sold for US $2,895, which in today's currency would be worth well over $10,000. Now this was the second digital drum machine after the Lin LM1, and the Oberheim DMX was very popular and very instrumental in that classic 80s sound. It was definitely a key component to the sound of hip hop and new wave. Now, before I go any further, I would just like to remind you to please subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every week and I would love to have you join our family. It won't cost you anything. There's no obligation on your behalf, but every time someone subscribes, it really helps my channel grow and it would be really appreciated. Thank you so much. Now the Oberheim DMX featured samples of real drum sounds and it offered individual tuning controls for each voice as well as a swing function. Now it had 24 individual drum sounds that were derived from 11 original samples. It was maximum eight voice polyphony. It had eight separate outputs for individual processing. It allowed for up to 100 sequences and 50 songs. And interestingly, Oberheim offered a system called Oberheim Parallel Bus, which predated MIDI. And this allowed Oberheim gear the ability to interface and communicate with each other. Now the samples in this drum machine are stored on EEPROM chips that are stored on removable voice cards. The data format is 8-bit PCM. Now this drum machine was embraced by several artists in the hip hop genre, and it's actually still frequently used in dancehall reggae music. It was famously used by New Order in their track Blue Monday, and the kick drum sound was actually used by the police in their classic hit Every Breath You Take. Now Oberheim later released the Oberheim DX, which was a stripped down version of the DMX. Now some of the sounds included in the DMX included bass drum, snare, hi-hat, toms, cymbal, shaker, tambourine, and claps. Now it also featured external clock, tape sync, cassette interface, and so much more. And in terms of the artists who used the Oberheim DMX, it was used by Run DMC, Prince, Stevie Nicks, Mike Oldfield, the Thompson Twins, Herbie Hancock, Madonna, and so many other artists. Now, you can buy the Oberheim DMX used. Uh, some people seem to think that you can find a used one for $1,000 to $1,200. Well, if you find it for that price, you're very, very lucky. Usually, I've noticed it tends to sell more for upwards to $3,000 to $4,000, especially if it's in very good condition. So that's my little look at the Oberheim DMX. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a comment. Do you own an Oberheim DMX? Uh, do you like this drum machine? Do you think it's better than the Lin LM1? Uh, do you have a favorite song that used the Oberheim DMX? Please let us know. Leave a comment. Give us a thumbs up. We'd love to hear from you. And as always, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much. Hope you can join us again next time. We'll see you again. Take care. Bye-bye.